Hello class, this is Miss Augustine, and today we're going to begin talking about dimensional analysis, which is Chapter 4. So what is dimensional analysis? It's a way that we solve, analyze, and solve problems using the units, the dimensions, um, of the measurements. And in dimensional analysis, we use something called conversion factors or conversion facts. And these are just ratios of equivalent measurements that we use in dimensional analysis. And what I mean there is like one foot is equal to 12 inches or 12 inches is equal to one foot. So for problem solving, there are three steps to the method and it's called the ACE method. A, analyze, C, calculate, E, evaluate, A, C, E. So for the analyze part, you're going to read the problem carefully. For chemistry class, you may have to read the problem several times. You're going to find out what it is asking you to solve. So what is your unknown? And you're going to write down important information, such as what you're given and what the units are. And then you'll calculate, you'll make your calculations this may involve conversions, substitutions, etc. And finally, you'll evaluate, you'll check your answer. Does the answer make sense? Is it reasonable? If I asked you to calculate the distance between the Earth and the Sun, for instance, and you calculated it to be 33 miles, we would know that that would be not reasonable. And then finally, do you have the correct units? And did you report the correct number of significant figures? So now, Let's look at a sample problem. How many days are there in six weeks? How many days is the unknown? It's what you're looking for. And six weeks would be your given. So we have to figure out some relationships that we will have to know in order to convert from one unit to another unit. So in this case, our conversion fact is one week is equal to seven days. And again, this is an exact number. So set up, start with the given and work toward what you're looking for. So the given in this case is 6.0 weeks. The unknown is how many days. Now for the calculation, six weeks times seven days for every one week. So this is our conversion factor. And again, the conversion factor, seven days equals one week, and one week equals seven days. And so in your conversion factor, top and bottom must be equal in value. They're equivalent. Now we've got a cancel unit. So we've got 6.0 weeks times seven days is one week. That's our conversion factor. We're going to cancel our units so that we end up with the units that we're looking for, which is days. So we're going to cancel out weeks divided by weeks equals one it disappears and then we're going to calculate by multiplying across the top and the bottom and dividing to get our final answer so when we do that we get 42 days and note check your answer for the correct number of significant figures and in this case two significant figures is the correct answer so that is just a brief intro into how we do dimensional analysis, how we use the units to solve problems. And for now, this is Ms. Augustine signing off.